Hi, I'm Jason Schron, and I love Via Trains. In fact, I love Via Trains so much, I built one in my house. So here's my basement, and uh, here's my Doctor Who toys, and that's my full-size Via Train. It took me four and a half years and 2,500 hours to build this Via Train in my basement, and here it is in 26 seconds. I still have a letter from 1987. I was 12 years old and Via Rail was telling me, uh, we're sorry, Mr. Schron, but we can't sell you any seats from our trains. The train is where I feel most at home. It's where I feel most at peace. Uh, it's, this, it's this bubble of comfort, especially when it's hurtling along at 85 miles per hour uh, with the, the snow and the rain pelting on the outside. It's just a perfect, perfect space. At this end of the car on the real train, uh, there's a bathroom. I replaced the bathroom with my record collection, turntable, all that. And the plan was to be able to chill out and just uh, listen to music, but to be honest, I kind of just like listening to the train sounds. This is amazing. I've got a photo mural of the next car, where the next car is supposed to go. So you think you're on a train with another car. It's details like these that make this train so real for me. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to have a Via Train in my basement, but you can only find stuff like the garbage can if you actually have a real Via Train. And that's what happened. Some friends and I found out about Via Train car number 5647. It was going to be scrapped, so we got a hold of it before it was scrapped, and we took all these original parts out of it, like the garbage can, the coat hooks, the Jenna motor light, the first aid box, the groovy 70s carpet, that basket for your timetable, the conductor's valve, the foldy gate, the radiator covers, and of course, the comfy chairs. That's it, the guy with the train in his basement. You too can have a train in your basement, you just need two things. You need to be completely insane, and you have to have an amazing wife. See ya. Thank you.